Hello, my name is Chicho. I'm from Vancouver, British Columbia, Canada, and uh, I've been active online for quite some time. Uh, what I'm here to do is talk to you about a project that uh, I've been working on for the last three years, which I'm about to kick into high gear, really. Now, in 2007, um, I was asked to help out a family member uh, with some with some math, basically. Uh, they needed help uh, learning high school mathematics. And they, since they lived in the United States and I'm in Canada, it's quite difficult to do that through email. So what I ended up doing is uh, making math videos, instructional math videos, and posting them on YouTube. Uh, the videos were very well received. And I did this for 2008 as well, and I did this again for 2009. And I plan on doing it every summer until I get the project that I want to get done, done. Now what I've done is basically started with what I believe to be the starting point of really trying to understand high school mathematics or even elementary school mathematics. I started with the real number set and I plan on creating enough videos, enough series together to at least get to an introduction level in calculus uh, definitely do a series on statistics and possibly linear algebra. And to give you an idea of where I am right now, I've sort of been doing this uh, part-time, full-time in the summers uh, for the last three years, and I've got about you know anywhere between 10 to 20 percent of the material that I wanted to get done done. So there's a fair bit of fair chunk of stuff still to come, and my estimate is it's going to take me you know anywhere between five years uh, to or longer to get this done. Now, what I've been doing with the videos is um, I don't like the you know box class structure the way our present education system is set up. Uh, anyone who's watched the videos obviously knows that. Uh, so what I've been doing is um, for most of the videos anyway, when it's been sunny, when it's been nice out, I've been you know grabbing my chalk, grabbing my little camera and little tripod, and I've been going to town finding walls, and I've been doing mathematics on any nice walls I could find and um, you know that's come out pretty good and uh, it's uh, it's worked out quite nicely and uh, I'm pleased with the videos and a lot of people are finding them useful what I've also been doing with the videos is cutting the videos to music and uh, you know when I'm setting up or when I'm taking off and the walls fairly far away you know I go there right on the wall and come back and talk about what I've just uh, written on the wall right for those videos, what I've done is sample, you know, any music that I like, and music is a huge part of my life. Um, any music that you know resonates well with me, that I think has a good message in general, a good message, and um, which I like the beats for, I've been sampling those videos, and you know, using them whenever, wherever I could. And a lot of the music that I've sampled so far has been hip hop. I've done some electronic music. Uh, I do plan on sampling some metal because uh, I love metal. Uh, I actually love a lot of different genres. Um, so I've put three series together right now. That's, you know, there's about 90 videos out there, about 11 hours worth of material. Now, I'm going to do another series this summer. We're in February 2010 right now. So there's a couple of months before the weather starts getting really nice outside where I can go out and, you know, continue what I'm doing. So I'm going to do this you know this summer as well and I'm going to continue to do it every summer until I get to where I want to get to which is introduction in calculus and definitely a series on uh, statistics so what I'm plan on doing uh, this year I'm dedicating to is to create two websites that are specifically going to be dealing with mathematics and presenting these videos and I'm going to you know, I do have a table of contents right now, and that's available on chicho.blogspot.com. And I'm going to continue expanding that table of contents uh, to all the different material that I'm going to start covering, or I I have covered and I will be covering. And it's going to be fairly fairly large. It's basically going to be a textbook level of material, and uh, there will be some kind of exercise books coming to complement the videos, so people you know, can actually sit down and do exercises and check your answers and stuff like this. So the first stage of getting what I want done is to set up the two math web websites. Now, the first math website is going to be a personal website, which is going to be 
uh, geared towards uh, generating income for myself and uh, income for anyone that's going to get involved with this project and I'm going to talk to you about that and uh, and what not whatever else that I feel like doing on a personal site I plan on doing the other website is going to mirror everything on this website but this website is going to be geared towards raising money for organizations that are actively working to end prohibition and that's a huge for me as it should be a huge as far as I'm concerned to everybody else so Two, web two websites are going to come online, and that's what I'm dedicating my time for 2010 for. And, and in addition to making the videos uh, in, this, in you know, this summer coming up. So one is going to be the personal website, and the other one is going to be the website which is going to mirror this and going to be geared towards raising money for these organizations. And there's a whole list of organizations that are you know, actively working uh, to change these archaic laws that the, our governments are enforcing that are costing society uh, unimaginable uh, it's just a burden it's just disaster right uh, some of those organizations are uh, you know there's a leap there's law enforcement uh, against prohibition there's students for sensible drug policy there's um, Eerowit is one of the greatest websites around that has tremendous amount of information on uh, on everything really from plants to whatever you want okay so that's my plan as far as I see it uh, as basically everything I've done so far has been geared towards crunching numbers and I sort of uh, have a, I look at the world from a statistics point of view I guess I look at numbers and you know analyze things I'm an analyst at heart and that's serve me well in life and um, I find it disheartening that a lot of people don't understand mathematics or think that mathematics is hard because as far as I'm concerned mathematics is intuitive uh, with everyone we use it constantly even if we know we're using it or we don't right uh, so it's it's human nature mathematics is part of nature as far as I'm concerned mathematics is embedded everywhere it's music it's art it's uh, paintings, it's structure, it's chemistry, it's physics, it's a literature, it's poems, it's everything. Uh, so approaching life from a mathematical, from an analytical point of view has, um, you know, for me has made life easier for me. And uh, I know it has made life easier for a lot of other people. So by having, you know, a space where people can go and learn mathematics from you know basics which is as far as I'm concerned the real number set all the way up to calculus which is basically the introduction of time um, and change and uh, you know there's a saying that says uh, the only constant in life is change and calculus is uh, you know the branch of mathematics that deals with the rate of change it introduces change into um, you know, into the analysis aspect of, uh, you know, how we're looking at the world, how we're uh, interpreting the world, what we're doing with our functions. So super important, as well as statistics. So if everybody in the world, basically, long story short, if everybody in the world knew mathematics, understood how to analyze numbers and, uh, and whatnot, how, basically was literate in the language of mathematics, I think the world would be a much more beautiful place. Uh, there would definitely not be as many scams as there, as there are in the world. And, uh, you know, people would, uh, uh, there would be communities built. Uh, you know, there would be, in my ideal world, everything would be decentralized or almost everything would be decentralized and would be living in a more communal, communal society. And that's my personal take on mathematics. And this project that I want to do is, uh, you know, will hit a few different aspects of what I want to do in life, I guess, or how I want to interact with life. Um, the way I approach everything is, uh, is sort of a layered approach to life, which is if I do one thing, hopefully it's hitting on a few different other things that I'm doing. And setting up these two math sites will definitely, well it's actually threefold at least, which is going to be generating money, teaching mathematics, and trying to end prohibition. And um, you know, those three things sound great to me, so that's what I'm doing is dedicating this time to it.